Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my hair care routine. Um, I have spent a lot of time uh, sort of trying out lots of new products. I have done everything from high end to low end hair care products. I have done co-washing, I have done the no poo method and this is the routine that I'm currently using that I'm absolutely loving for my hair. So, um, I've got everything written down um, here because I don't want to hold up all the products because I've literally just washed my hair so it's they're all really wet in the bathroom. So what I'm going to do is insert pictures here of every product that I mention and all the links of everything I use will be down in the description box below. So a little bit of hair history. Um, my hair is naturally wavy with frizz and it's actually this dark and I up until recently had it very long. Um, I grew it out when I was pregnant uh, with my kids. I had a very short haircut when I got pregnant with Lachlan, my oldest, and then I sort of let it grow from there because I hated it. Um, and then it got to very, very long. I'll insert pictures here of how long I had it at one point. Um, but it was not the healthiest. I mean, I had bleached it a few times. I put in balayage a few times. And then I'd gone dark again. And then I put balayage back in. And it just wasn't feeling great. So, about two months ago, I want to say. I was around mid-March. Um, I will insert a picture here. But I actually got my hair cut very short. Um, and since then, it's actually grown a fair amount. Um, I've been using the rice water method, and I will do a whole video based on rice water, but I will talk about it a little bit in this video as well because it's part of my routine. And I've also been doing a little bit of the inversion method, um, which I'll mention that in my rice water video if you're interested. And I've been taking really good care of my hair, and it's actually grown a reasonable amount. But at the same time, I have found a routine that I really love. I've been using these same products for quite some time now, and they're products that I plan to and have repurchased and so I'm going to talk you through it. So first of all I wash my hair once a week. Now I work out four-ish days a week, four or five depending on the week, days a week. So my hair does get gross and greasy and sweaty and yucky. So what happens is in the middle of my cycle I do a co-wash or uh, at the moment I'm using the new wash by Hair Story. Um, I will get to that in a second, talk a little bit more about it, but I'm really, really loving it, and I do that once a week as well. So I sort of go three or four days without doing anything to my hair. My hair gets wet every day that I exercise because I go into the shower and I sort of like massage my head because it gets sweaty and gross, um, but I don't wash it every day. So, like I said, I wash my hair once a week. So let's get to the start of that. So my hair washing routine. Um, so let's say it's the first day post-wash. So I've done my wash, and then my part of my routine is on a daily basis, I will use a rice water scalp treatment. So I do, like I said, I will talk more about rice water in a video completely on itself. But basically I have rice water that I've let ferment and that I put in a spray bottle with some herbs, um, essential oil, sorry. And then I put that directly onto my scalp every night before I go to bed. The only nights that I don't do that are days when I've done a rice wash rinse, which I do on my hair washing day, so we'll get to that. Um, so it's the day after my hair washing and I will do a scalp treatment. And I will do that treatment every single night except for the washing day. Um, so that being said, come um, every on a daily basis I don't have to use a lot of styling products, I tend to leave my hair alone. If I will use a styling product it tends to be either Revita Foam, um, which I'll leave here, which is like a foamy leave-in conditioner. Um, I will use Bumble and Bumble the primer spray um, as a bit of a deep as, as a bit of an oil spray. My Kevin Murphy shimmer spray um, if my hair needs a bit of a refresh, or I will use a little bit of oil. It really depends on how my hair is faring. Um, if my hair is feeling really really dry, then I will go with some oil and Revita foam. If my hair is feeling really frizzy, then I will go with my Kevin Murphy smoothing sort of spray. So I'll leave all the links down below, but those are my sort of leave-in products that I rotate through. I don't use them all at once, but I rotate through them depending on what I need. So we're on day three or four of my hair wash cycle and my hair is feeling really gritty. So this is the day that I will use my new wash, Hair Story New Wash. Um, it's something that I found a few months back, or actually it's been six or so months since I found it, and I really like it. It's not something that I use on its own because for me, I just like the feeling of having super, super clean hair, um, and, but I like to have it as a bit of a co-wash in the middle of my hair wash cycle. 
The thing with new wash that I sort of had to learn was that you need to use sort of more than you expect. It goes root to tip and you also need to have your hair super duper duper wet. So like not like a normal shampoo and conditioner where you sort of get under the water, get out and sort of like uh, wring it dry a little bit before you put your product in. I'm talking under the water, get as wet as possible and then lather it over your head. Scrub it in as much as I can. I really massage my scalp, scrub, 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 and then you have to rinse it really well. Um, this leaves my hair feeling pretty clean. It's not like shampoo clean, but it's fairly clean. It gets rid of all that grit and grime that I've had from working out. Um, like I said, continuing on in the week, I will use my uh, rice water scalp treatment. Now, come the day before hair washing day, I will wet my hair after I have a workout, and then I will sort of like coat it in um, castor oil and um, jojoba oil. I tend to mix the two because castor oil is very thick um, and so yeah, I can add it with coconut oil. Jojoba oil just tends to be what I'm using at the moment but I also like coconut oil in the summer because it's melted. Um, and then what I do is I lather it root to tip in castor oil and I put it up in a bun. So then I leave that overnight um, and then the next day after I've done my workout I will go in and it's time to wash my hair. So um, I will then shampoo my hair twice. I will then do my rice water rinse. So I will put my rice water all over my hair, scalp to tip, and I leave it for two or three, sometimes four minutes in the shower. I will then follow up with my conditioner and sometimes my deep conditioner. So and then I will leave that for about five minutes before I rinse it out. Um, and then finally, I will leave it with my leave-in product. Like I said, it really depends on how my hair is feeling as to what leave-in product I use. On a general basis, I will use my Bumble Bumble Primer Spray. And if I'm going to use heat, I will use my um, Goldwell Heat Protectant as well as my Kevin Murphy Shimmer Spray. Um, that's what I've used today. In my hair, I've used my Bumble Bumble Primer, my Kevin Murphy Spray, and then my Goldwell Heat Protectant. Um, I tend to use Revita from sort of midweek once I've done my co-wash slash my new wash because I find that it needs the extra um, moisture after I've sort of been working out for a few days. So let's talk products. As for shampoo and conditioner, I have a couple that I rotate for you. The, long, the ones I've been using the longest are my Purology Hydrate range. I use the shampoo and conditioner from Purology Hydrate range, um, and I really, really like that. It's the purple bottles. I buy them in the one liter size, and they last me forever and ever and ever. Um, I'm actually about to run out of the ones I have, but I love them. So the condition, the shampoo has a little bit of a purple tinge to it, so if you guys have blonde hair, then it'll probably help a little bit with toning. Um, and then the conditioner has like a really cool pepperminty feel. Um, it makes my scalp tingle and it smells amazing and it's so so good for like detangling and letting my hair sort of get really soft. Um, I really like that. And then I used two Kevin Murphy ones. So I used the Kevin Murphy Angel Blonde Shampoo and Conditioner. I used that more when my hair was longer. I do still use that now but probably only once a month. Um, my hair doesn't have that much blonde in it and it doesn't really need a ton of toning um, but I will talk about what I do to tone it in a minute but I use that one, I really like it, it's great for sort of more all hair types, it's not super nourishing um, on my hair which I have a lot of hair, it's quite thick um, and there's a lot of it and so I don't find that it's super duper nourishing so that tends to be something that I need to use an oil with afterwards. Um, but it cleans my hair, it smells amazing, and it does tone. That being said, I then also, I will also use the Kevin Murphy, I think it's the Repair Me range, it's the blue ones. I will leave them on the picture on the screen, and I'll also leave them linked down below. This is my favourite, um, Kevin Murphy is a biodegradable, help, um, sort of more natural on brand. They do have, they have no sulfates, no silicones, all that sort of stuff, and the packaging is biodegradable, so it's good for the environment. Their pH is perfect for your hair. Same with the Purology. The pH sits perfectly on your natural hair scale. Um, it's not too acidic or too basic, and so it's actually very healthy for your hair shaft. If you guys are interested in sort of more information about the pH of your hair, I'll leave a video down below, link down below that I watched that sort of helped me to learn a little bit about pH. Um, but I really like it. So the Hydrate Me range, again, like I said, I shampoo twice and I condition. 
Um, and I love the Kevin Murphy. It smells like a hair salon. In fact, my hairdressers actually use Kevin Murphy, and so it just reminds me of going to the hairdressers, but it smells like heaven. Um, in fact, my husband came in the other day when after I washed my hair, and he was like, what perfume are you using? And I'm like, I'm not. It's just my shampoo. It smells so incredibly good. Uh, it makes my hair feel super clean, super soft. It actually lathers fairly well for a shampoo that doesn't have sulfates. Um, it's not like a bubble bubble, but it's definitely like a little bit of a lather. You can feel it. You can see a little bit of bubbling. Um, I really like that. Like I said, all the products I use are sort of on the higher end of the market. Um, I have tried lower end products and I just find that my hair reacts better to something that's a little bit more expensive and a little bit more nourishing to it, especially since I've got a little bit of blonde through it. Um, but yes, I will shampoo and condition my hair. Now, for a deep conditioner, I use the Christophe Robin. I'm butchering his name, but Christophe Robin, Christophe Robin, however I say it, I use their deep conditioning mask. I actually use the purple one because I've got the blonde in my hair, um, but they have one for like different hair colors and just a plain one, and I love it. It smells incredible. Like I said, it's got no silicones. It's quite healthy for your hair. It's really expensive, but you don't need a ton. Um... And I normally put this in my hair and leave it for five minutes or so. If I, my hair feels like it really needs it, I'll put it in and leave it for a couple hours and then go back and rinse it out later. It really depends on what sort of quality my hair is feeling that day. But for the most part, the five minutes is plenty. That's actually what I did today. Um, and so I use that. Um, as for toning my hair, like I said, the Christopher one is purple. It's a really, really bright deep purple um, and leaving that in for five minutes definitely helps with toning my hair but I also like the IGK purple drops um, and what I would do is I mix that in with whatever leave-in product I'm using in my hair at the time so whether it be an oil or a cream or a spray sometimes I'll spray some into my hand and then mix the drops through it rub it through and just run it through my hair and I'll do that a couple times a week just to sort of help my hair fight any brassy tones that I'm expecting it to get um, I think that's really it. As for styling, I don't generally style my hair. For the most part, I tend to leave it air dry. Um, I've been using heat on it once a week at the moment because I'm tiling my Airwrap uh, styler, which I have also done a video, my previous video would have been using the straightening brush and today's video that I filmed is the curling barrel. Um, so if you'd like a full review on how I got this look, that would be the video coming next. Um, but I don't generally use a lot of heat on my hair. I probably use heat on my hair maybe once a month, give or take. Um, a little bit more frequently at the moment, like I said, but generally as a rule, I don't only use um, heat on my hair probably once a month if I'm lucky. Um, and generally I let it air dry and straighten it or I will let it air dry and curl it or I will blow dry it straight. Um, so it really depends. I don't tend to use multiple hot tools on my hair at the same time. I try and keep away from heat altogether. Um, I use for hair sort of brushing, I have a bamboo brush which I like to use at the end of the day every day to sort of brush all the oils from my root to my tips. I will enjoy that one. I'll leave one link down below. Mine is just from the body shop. It's fairly inexpensive. Um, and then I also use a wet brush and a wide tube comb when my hair is wet. Um, I just use the plain wet brush. And in the shower, I have a wide tube comb. Again, it was just like a cheap one from Priceline. Nothing super exciting about it. But that's what I use when my hair is wet because your hair is most sort of fragile when it's wet. I do use a hair towel. I use like a microfiber one. I've just ordered bamboo cotton ones, but I've got a microfiber one at the moment. Um, but what I do is I'm very careful with it. I don't do it really tight. Um, I just sort of gently put my hair up in it and I don't leave it up there for very long. I just use it to sort of absorb a lot of the dampness. Um, and I also sleep with a satin pillowcase. I'll leave the ones I used linked down below. Um, again, it sort of helps to not get frizz and not pull on my hair and tangle it. These are just things that I do to sort of help with my overall hair health. They're not things you have to do, but they definitely help with sort of stopping the make the like wear and tear and breakage of your hair. Um, as for like hair ties and stuff, I have a mixture. I use either a scrunchie or I've been using the slip silk um, thin hair ties. They're silk hair ties. I really like those. The only time I won't use those is if I'm working out, in which case I generally use something like 
a bubble or a um a thicker hair tie because my hair moves around so much when I work out so yeah everything I've talked about will be in pictures and linked down below um like I said I will come back and film a video I might even do it today on rice water and my rice water routine um, it's super duper easy if you guys are interested in rice water please just type in rice water hair results into like the youtube search bar and there will be thousands of videos that come up it's amazing um but i really like it i think it's really helped with my overall health of my hair it's definitely helped with the thickness of my hair um and like regrowth i will talk about that in my next video um or in the video after it'll be coming um but i really like that and so i would use that like i said um that will be a video that i will put up soon if you're interested in that but yeah i think that's really it that i've talked about it's a little bit all over the place like i said i'll insert pictures all that stuff everything i talk about will be in the description box down below but that's my hair that's my hair routine it's taken me a while to sort of find a routine i really like um i've been using purology probably the longest i've probably been using purology 18 months now um, and that's probably the one that's sort of stuck around the longest. That being said, I've used Kevin Murphy on and off for a really long time and I really trust their products and I really love them. So, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the subscribe button. If you have any questions, recommendations, comments, please leave them down below. I'm normally pretty good at getting back to my comments. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!